Hi there, this is Coach Linda from Linda's Clutter Talk. Today, I'd just like to talk to you a little bit about how we go about getting things done. Now, of course, this is different for everyone, but I do have some suggestions, at least that work for me, that I'd like to share with you today. And what I'd like to focus on are what I call micro wins. So micro wins are those little things that you don't even schedule. Maybe they take two minutes or less that you just go ahead and do. Frankly, by the time you could write it on a list that you have to do it, you could have gotten it done. I think this is very important because I think when things are just, oh, you know, I can get that done in a minute or two, you put it off for some reason. At least I did. You know, why did I put that off when it would only take me a minute or two? You know, it's um, it's one of those things where it seems so small and insignificant that we don't realize that if we leave it and don't take care of it, plus all the other ones we leave and don't take care of, now we've got a lot to do. So you can do some micro wins during the day. I don't think I have one day that goes by that I don't do them. Or you can wait until you have more than micro, you have a lot to do. So um, let me give you a few examples. Um, a micro win would be something like, um, I need to uh, refill the Kleenex container in the bathroom because I just pulled the last Kleenex out of it. You know, how many people stop and do it right then and there? I didn't used to, or I need to put more soap out for the bathroom, those types of things. When you're in there, you realize they have to be done. They take practically no time to do, but sometimes we just wait. And then either we find ourselves in a situation where we need the stuff and we don't have it, or we have so many of those little things to do. Now, all of a sudden, we need some time to work on things. Um, just tiny little things can make a world of difference. What we want to do, we want to transition from being a, I've got to do that to a, I'm doing that now. Because let's face it, a minute here, two minutes there aren't going to make a huge difference in your day. You're not going to not get other things done because of that. But if you keep doing all those little things as they need to be done, you're not going to have a big task in front of you. So kitchen counters are notorious for this type of thing. Um, our kitchen counter will start to get a little crowded by the end of the day. You know, maybe somebody got something out of the pantry, a snack or something, and didn't put it back after they took some out or um, that uh, pot lid is on the counter because you made something you didn't need, need to use the top, but it hasn't been put back away again. Um, the mail that didn't go straight to the mail basket when it came in the house. And although in our house, that's a big no-no. <laughs> um, just whatever, it just accumulates during the day. Well, as you walk by and you see these things on the counter, you don't have to say, I've got to make time later to clean that counter off. What you say to yourself is, I can put this back in the pantry in two seconds. So let me just do that. And sometimes you'll do two or three things. And then all of a sudden the counter looks much better. It took no time. You have micro wins. Micro win wins are your friends. Look for them. You know, if you're sitting in the family room at night relaxing, say, when I get up to go in the other room, is there something that doesn't belong in here I can take out of here when I leave? It's keeping that conscious thought in the back of your mind that if you can, if you can do it now, do it. So anyway, try it for about a week. See how it goes. I'm pretty sure that you're going to be very, very happy with the results. And then after you've done it a while, you'll no longer even have to think about it. It'll just be the way you operate, the way you are. It'll become part of you. And your house will be much, much better <laughs> off. And it really didn't cost you any big, big 
um, you know, like extravagant projects because big projects all start with little things. So nip them in the bud, my friends. And this is uh, Linda and Coder Talk, and I'll see you again next time.